What's up, guys? It's your boy Will from Willpower and Strength. Uh, today I got a co-host with me. It's gonna be Drew Speech. It's YouTube Drew Speech, IG Drew Speech, everything Drew Speech. Should be down in the description somewhere. You can find it. Yep. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the top three most important supplements for beginners. What would you recommend for your first one of your top three? Well, first thing first, I'm gonna keep everything nice, short, and simple, so I'm not gonna go too far into detail. But this right here is a men's one a day vitamin. Vitamins, multivitamins to me is gonna be one of the main foundations of your supplementation. And the reason why I say that is because you know when you're focusing on macronutrients, you're focusing on proteins, fats, carbs. A lot of times it slips your mind to focus on the micronutrients, which is your vitamin A, C, D, E, B, six, your zinc, all that other good stuff, your iron, and this is gonna cover you for that. So whenever you're forgetting to do your micronutrients, um, a lot of the times it can cause fatigue and all kinds of other stuff that you don't want. So, and it's gonna help your immune, immune system. Trust me, vitamins are the way to go for the first thing you're gonna need. Now the next thing I would recommend for anybody who's just getting in uh, working out would be branched chain amino acids. You know, and here's another thing, brand really doesn't matter, okay? Brand is a preference. At least in my opinion, brand is a preference. Yep. Most of these have the same exact compounds in them. Exactly. It's not gonna be any different whether you're taking Beta Core, which is my personal favorite, not affiliated to this company, or... Salvation. You know, it, it's all gonna do pretty much the same thing, which is help with muscle fatigue so you're able to get through your workout, mm -hmm. and it's gonna help with soreness the next day. I'm about to say, if you guys want, we'll do a video later on when to take these supplements, how to take these supplements, all this good stuff. All right, and the last thing we're gonna go with is going to be, and we both came to uh, what's called a mutual understanding on this one, that it's gonna be the granddaddy of them all, protein powder. And the reason why with protein powder we're choosing this is because a lot of times if you are setting up your macros, you got 200 grams of protein, and let's say that for some reason you can't down that much, you can't eat that much, you don't have time to cook that much, yeah. you got something that's very simple, it's real fast, you can get it, scoop it, dump it, drink it. Now, depending on the type of working out that you are doing is the type of protein that you're, you're gonna want. Yes. If you're trying to put on muscle, you'd want something more like this, which has, that has much higher calories and then much higher uh, protein and much higher carbs. Yes, but the mass gain is gonna help out for you guys who are hard gainers. When you're a hard gainer, you, 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 you can't get down that many meals, that's gonna be a lifesaver for you. And if you're trying to lose weight and cut, you know, and cut something like, you know, just a simple protein that's really low in carbs, exactly. really low in calories, but, it's but high, high in protein, protein is gonna help you. It, it's gonna be an extreme help because as he said, sometimes you're not gonna have the opportunity to eat throughout the day. You know, you bring a protein shake with you or you bring the powder, you mix it up with some water and you drink your, pro you down your protein shake and that's your meal substitute. Now I'm not saying to substitute all your meals with this, but this can be used as a meal substitute. Exactly. Now, if you were to use any other supplements, what would, some, what would be something you would recommend? You know, just something that if they're out and about and they see this, you know, they should, they should pick it up. Well, what's called, so here's something else that I hear helps a lot of people. And also, it helps me every now and then. Um, we're gonna go with a pre-workout. And where's the other pre-workout? Cause oh. you know, C4. It is a pre-workout, it's a cheap pre-workout. But I'm gonna go with pre-workout, and the main reason I'm gonna say that is for because as a beginner, there's gonna be a lot of days that you're not gonna feel like going to the gym. With change, change is hard, change is never easy. So you're gonna be changing it up. The pre-workout is gonna help you get to the gym because it's gonna give you the energy you need, whether you're starting off in the morning, starting out later in the day. Whenever you're tired, this is gonna help you out. And it all depends on whether you uh, do well with stimulants or not. The, a lot of, of pre-workouts pre -workout have stimulants in them like caffeine so and you can get them that don't have stimulants you can get them with you know l-arginine beta alanine things that are pump inducers things that will make you uh, they're vasodilators yes they uh allow more blood flow through your body which makes you feel like you have more energy without the crash from caffeine yeah and another, another thing is that i'm very stimulant sensitive so usually whenever i'm getting to any kind of pre-workout i take like no more than a half scoop i take sometimes a quarter scoop to a half scoop whenever i'm doing my pre-workouts because i'm very uh um, what's called sensitive to um, stimulants i am uh, on the other hand i'm, I'm not sensitive to stimulants like that. unless i drink my pre-workout or unless i have a cup of coffee it's exactly. it's not gonna happen and to be honest a lot of people for their pre-workout in the morning they'll just do a cup of black coffee that's right as a matter of fact, that's what I do with it. Black coffee works well with intermittent fasting, but we'll get to that in a later video. This is Will from Willpower and Strength. And Drift Speaks is YouTube Drift Speaks, IG Drift Speaks. So if you guys have any questions, anything at all, leave a comment down in the, down in the comment section. 
DM me on Instagram or Drift Speaks on Instagram. We will be back. We will get back in contact with you. If it's a good enough question, we will probably make a video about it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time. It's too easy, I don't want nothing to do with it. We all know that 24 years ago, we were doing Oh, we all know what we're doing now. Oh, hey, I missed It even goes that way alphabetically. How could you fuck that up? <laughs> Let him bring you to a You say names, don't say names. The problem that I had is that my dad and stepmom both Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that other good shit. See y'all down in the comments. I'll be messaging with y'all. Peace.